Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Vivo Active 3 or Vivo Active 3 Music Edition tutorial video. In this video, we're going to go through the system settings and we'll help you understand what each of them mean and how you can customize them to your liking. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is long press the watch face. Once the menu comes up, scroll all the way to the bottom to get to settings. Then in settings, scroll all the way to the bottom to get to system. In system settings, the first setting we have is auto lock. This will determine if the watch will auto lock and then also when that will happen. So you can have it during activities, when it's in watch mode, or always. Or you could just turn it off like I do. Next we have language. So if you want the watch to display a different language other than English, you could select that language here. After that we have time. And we could select the format for 24 hours. We can also select if we want the time source to be auto or manual. So you can manually set your time. When auto is selected, it uses GPS to automatically update it based on which time zone you're in. And then you can manually have it set by the GPS if you just select that. As you can see, it's waiting for GPS. Then in the system settings, we have date. So you can set the date. You can also set the format of the date when it's displayed. Next we have what I believe is pronounced Sysio TrueUp. And this allows you to switch between different Garmin devices and retain some of the data such as your VO2 max, different things like that. I recommend looking into that if that is of interest to you. After that we have Backlight. Backlight, there's a lot of settings in here. We can turn off backlight altogether. We can also turn on gestures, which turns on the backlight if you move your watch up like you're viewing it. You can also configure the timeout. I prefer medium and then the brightness, which remember the lower you have that, the longer battery life you're going to get. So I recommend 10%. I think that works great for this watch. I have it at 100% now just for filming. The next system setting we have is vibration strength. So you have high, medium, and low. I recommend medium. High is a little bit loud. So if you're at work, people may be able to tell that you're getting a notification, but I found that medium is the perfect balance between not loud and also able to feel the vibration. After that, we have do not disturb mode, and that's where the watch will not disturb you if you're in meetings or you're sleeping. So I recommend setting that if you are trying not to be bothered. It's good for studying, things like that. This ensures no notifications and the watch face does not turn on by itself. After that, we have units. And this is where you can set all the units for the different measurements that the watch uses. Next in the system settings, we have data recording. And you can set it to be smart or every second. And to me, smart is probably your best option because it's going to be monitoring and only recording data when it needs to be. So if you're sleeping, it may not be recording data as often and that can save the battery. USB mode, I recommend keeping that default, but you can select Garmin and I believe that that will help if you're connecting it to the Garmin Connect app on your computer. After that, we have reset, and this can be used if you're having issues with your watch or you're selling it, where you can reset to the default settings or you can completely do a factory reset. And I have a video on that in the description right now if you need to figure that out. But this is what you would do if you want to completely delete everything off the watch and have it just like when you got it. Next, we have software update, and this is where the watch will check to see if there's an update available from Garmin for the watch. And then finally, we have about, which gives you some basic information about the watch. So those are the system settings on your Garmin Vivo Active 3 or Vivo Active 3 Music Edition. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Vivo Active 3 tutorial videos, check the link in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.